Wicked. Are we making bubblegum flavoured slushies? Please, please tell me we're making slushies. Oh, I'm sorry, Mark. No, this water represents the ocean. Ah, boring, unbubblegum flavoured ocean. Mark. I mean, incredible, awesome ocean world. Yes. And as the ocean splashes around, it absorbs carbon dioxide, or CO2 as we call it, from the pollution in the atmosphere. For thousands of years, the amount of dissolved CO2 in the air stayed roughly the same, and marine life adapted to thrive under these conditions. See? But look what happens when we add too much CO2. Right, so we are making slushies. <laughs> no, Mark, no. This is CO2, just in a frozen form. All that extra CO2 in there is making the seawater acidic. And what happens to creatures like coral when you add them to acidic seawater? They think it's awesome? No, it kills them, you nincompoop. Coral reefs are dying out all around the world. It's a terrible problem, and we all need to focus on solving it. Professor, can I do my song now? It's about the difficulties of being a robot in a human world. Not uh, just yet. Maybe later. And about the great scientist, Professor McTaggart. I think we've waited long enough. Hit it, Bob! Is that another one of those polar bear vids? No. Luce, seriously, if you need to speak to someone about those bear vids, I know this really good guy who helped me out with my string cheese problem. I haven't got a problem. Other than you spouting all these ridiculous theories about global warming. Uh, well, they're not ridiculous. Mr Sludge wouldn't believe them if they were. Mr Sludge? Barrington Sludge? What chairman of sludge conglomerates? Yeah, that's right, look, that's my Bezzy right there. <laughs> well, of course he doesn't think humans are responsible for pumping out CO2. His company pumps out loads of CO2 and that's what makes him so rich. But he gave me my snow scooter. Yeah, and a bunch of wacko theories about global warming that he wants you to say on our show. Hello. I don't want to alarm anyone, but there's a huge great polar bear outside the building. Repeat, an enormous great polar bear is outside the studio. Oh, yeah, he, he must have just uh, followed me down from the North Pole. Probably uh, just plucking up the courage to ask for an autograph. Mm. Or he's come to have words about you snow scooting all over his backyard. Either way, I'm going to take a professional and detached look at this cutie wootie little polar bear. What? I mean, oh no, there's a polar bear outside the studio. I'll call security. <laughs> 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 